This is Dr. Neil Barshus. I'm a surgeon at the Baylor College of Medicine. I'm going to be talking to you about an endocide vascular anastomosis using a double anchor technique. This video is approximately six minutes. It shows a model that uses two Penrose drains. One is beveled. This would represent the conduit, either a vein graft or a prosthetic vascular graft, PTFE or Dacron. The other has an arteriotomy, and this would represent either the inflow artery or the distal target artery. So first, the surgeon is going out to in on the conduit, on the vein graft or the PTFE Dacron graft, then using the same needle and going in to out on the artery. Alternatively, it would be perfectly acceptable to go in to out, switch needles and go in to out on each of the vessels. This saves one step and it's uh, perfectly acceptable to go out to in on a vein graft or on a prosthetic vascular graft. You pretty much always want to avoid going out to in on an artery. So after those two bites are taken, three throws uh, here in the suture ankle, anchor the suture down. The first two throws are in the same direction, the third alternates direction. If we were doing this in the operating room, some heparinized saline would help lubricate the suture material and help the knot slide down. We're passing then one of the needles underneath the conduit. And we're going to put a, here a hemostat in the operating room. We would use a shotted uh, hemostat or mosquito to hold on to that suture. And now we're going to start just adjacent to the heel, going out to in on the conduit and then in to out. And note that this first bite is angled at a pretty much 45 degree angle towards the surgeon's right elbow. This helps get the suture, the first bite, uh, very close to the heel. So now on the third bite, we're going to transition over to taking bites that are more or less perpendicular to the cut edge of the artery. So here's the first, the next bite out to in on the conduit. Then like I mentioned, in to out, and not quite so angled, more pretty much directly uh, towards uh, the surgeon. You know, surgeon uh, sews a needle tip out towards his, his or her sternum is a pretty good uh, target to aim for. Here transitioning to taking the bite in one, reloading the needle, and then pulling up on the suture. So we're making progress like this until at least halfway uh, through the, uh, the, the uh, length of the arteriotomy here. I'll point out the, that the assistant is following with his or her right hand here. This stays out of the way of the surgeon's, uh, the hand that has the Castro Viejo needle driver. So now the second anchor, the double anchor, uh, is placed here at the toe. Similar to the heel, we're going out to in on the conduit, then in to out on the artery. Then here two, three throws, first two in the same direction, third alternates direction. And again, typically we put heparinized saline on the surgeon's hands, gloves, as well as on the suture material to help slide the knot down. Then after this, we are going to do something similar to what we did at the heel, and that is uh, go 45 degrees uh, here towards the surgeon's left elbow, then taking bites that are pretty much, again, towards the uh, surgeon's chest until we get to the point where the sutures match. Here we're going to tie them down, and that completes this half of the anastomosis. The second half is very similar. Here, a bite out towards the surgeon's left elbow after it comes through the arterial wall. Taking this in two bites. And 
There's that bite into out on the artery towards the surgeon's left elbow here at the heel. And then again, making progress, uh, taking bites either in one or in two that aren't as angled and aimed more directly towards the surgeon's chest. Taking a bite in two here. And just like on the first side that you saw, uh, we're going to run this needle until it's at least halfway along the length of this half of the anastomosis. Then we're going to take the, the other suture, the one at the toe, and run it down until it meets where this one ends. Tie them together. Uh, and then we're done with this proximal anastomosis. Uh, if this was the proximal anastomosis, we would flush through the conduit. Uh, if it were the distal before completing the anastomosis, we, we would want to flush the conduit and the target artery, both proximally and distally. Thank you for your attention. Good luck.